NYCHA has made it a priority to help combat the growing concern of mold in the homes of many residents. To fulfill this commitment, NYCHA has been taking different measures, including the launch of Mold Busters, an innovative new program to effectively and efficiently get rid of mold in its developments. In this video, two NYCHA residents, Renee and Teresa, share their experience with mold and explain how NYCHA helped resolve their mold concerns. Let's hear what they have to say. I reside in Marble Hill Houses in the Bronx, and I've lived here for about three years. The NYCHA community that I live in is District 35, which consists of Lafayette Gardens. The development has, was built in the 60s. I grew up here as a child, so this is home for me. Have you had experience with mold in your NYCHA housing? Yes, I experienced mold. It was mold in my bathroom for about five to six months. If you go inside my bathroom, it's a wall by the toilet and the paint started chipping and I saw like mold spores throughout the wall. When I saw the mold, it made me uh, uncomfortable because I tried to keep my apartment clean, you know, and um, I have two children in the apartments and I wanted to get it fixed. How has living with mold affected you? I didn't get sick um, from mold, but I believe my daughter, um, I have a three-year-old, she has asthma. So during the time where I had the mold in the bathroom, um, we were going to the hospital pretty often with her asthma. Well, at first I didn't put them together. I didn't think that the mold was causing it, but the frequency of me going to the hospital, I was going like once a month. Um, to the hospital with her. So, of course, I was, you know, once I realized that it was mold in my bathroom, I was upset. You know, I wanted to get it fixed because it was affecting her breathing. I'm not an expert in molds, but I can't identify when I see it. The characteristic is the big black thing around your wall, or maybe in your bathroom. It may be in your ceiling. Mold can be black but it can also be different colors, such as gray, black, green, yellow, and orange. For more information on mold and its characteristics, make sure to watch video one. Did you report the mold? How did you report the mold condition to NYCHA? NYCHA has an app, so any tickets or things that you need to report to them, put it through the app. They give you a report number, and I waited for them to respond it's a number, a phone number for you to call and talk to a live person. Well, I reported as soon as I moved into the apartment, I called the call center and they gave me a ticket number. I think they did a pretty good job. They responded back to me, they gave me the date, they came, they did the inspections. The communication has been very good, I could say. They do call and email. I do have the NYCHA app, which is amazing. I love the app. It's faster. What steps did NYCHA take to address the mold condition in your apartment? They have really did really good with the repairs here since I've been here. I mean, I got my tiles done and the, I got the lead inspection done, I got the mold inspection done. So what actions was taken was that they did do a, they did a lead and mold inspection. So a young lady came and when I say she went in, she took pictures. She went in every room and she explained everything to me. They came and fixed it within a month. They called me, make sure everything's okay. NYCHA was very helpful in my mold problems. They kept in constant communication with me. And, you know, like I said, it, I'm very surprised that they did a very good job with the communication. They were efficient, you know, because normally the little WPS are slow, depending on what it is. So I feel that they are just in the mold in a consistent way. If you want to learn more about the removal process, watch video three of this series. What advice would you give to other NYCHA residents who are also combating mold in their residence? The advice I would give them is first report it, you know, whether it's the app or call in the contact sensor number. Um, and second, you know, try to see if they could get it fixed as soon as possible. I think the responsibility of mold in the apartment is both the residents and NYCHA's responsibility um, because you live in the apartment, so you should be able to kind of identify if something is going on in your apartment. And also NYCHA will be responsible in my opinion because they're the landlord. 
So um, I just feel like their responsibility in the part is if I report it to them, they should get it fixed in a timely manner. I would tell, tell a resident that to communicate with them, take your time with them, be patient with them because this is your apartment that needs to be done. Because if you don't communicate with them, it's not gonna get done. So we all have to work together. This has to be a community base. Everybody has to work together because if we don't, it's not gonna work. Everybody need help. Like you just can't do it by themselves. Everybody have to do it. The community leaders have to do it. The tenants have to do it. The residents have to do it. The mayor gotta do it. Everybody gotta do it. It's not just on one person. They have a campaign now to combat mold in the apartment. So my advice would be just report it, you know, as soon as possible. Remember, NYCHA is here to help remove mold from your home free of charge. Residents who have already contacted the NYCHA Customer Contact Center and submitted a work order either through the My NYCHA app, website, or by calling the Customer Contact Center but still have concerns or complaints regarding mold and leaks and any associated repairs can contact the NYCHA Compliance Department at compliance at nycha.nyc.gov or reach out to the Independent Court-Appointed Ombudsperson Call Center, OCC, at 1-888-341-7152 or at ombnyc.com.